Welcome to Planet's Material Schedules tutorial. In this tutorial I am using Cabinet Vision Solid Ultimate version 9. Material schedules are required so you can link the many parts that will be used in your jobs to a variety of materials that you have created in the Material Manager. When you start a new job, you are not selecting individual materials in the Job Properties screen, you are selecting material schedules that may contain a combination of different materials. A material schedule is simply a list of specific parts that you assign materials to, so that when you draw a job the system automatically knows what parts need to be made out of what materials. To access material schedules, select the material schedule icon on the ribbon bar of the startup screen. When you have the schedule manager open, it will have a ribbon bar at the top, a sidebar to the left where you can edit the schedule name and other details, a parts list in the middle and your material list to the right. There are many different schedule types that can be created depending on what type of material you are wanting to use in your job. You must select the correct schedule type first from the drop down list on the ribbon bar before you can select an existing schedule from the drop down list to modify or before you can create a new schedule altogether by selecting the new icon from the ribbon bar. Schedule names are entered or modified in the sidebar once you have selected the appropriate schedule type. The name is often abbreviated if you need to communicate that the schedule will have multiple material types within it. The schedule description can then be an explanation of what the name means. This will be further demonstrated in an example shortly. When assigning materials in a schedule, simply expand the parts list and select the part name you require. Find the applicable material in the material list on the right and then either drag the material over onto the part name or use the arrow to move the material onto the selected part. If you wish for an entire subgroup of parts to be the same material, you apply the material selection to the parent of the group and all parts within it will change. You can also select a part in the list and right click on it, then select Match Parent Material as a quick way to change a selection on a part to match its parent. You may also notice blue and red icons in front of every part group in the parts list. These coloured icons are there to give you a quick indication as to whether the parts within the group match the parent or not. A blue icon means that all parts within the group match the parent. A red icon indicates that at least one part within the group is different to the parent which can prompt you to expand the group and take a look at the selections. Now let's talk about some specific types of schedules. Assembly schedules are used to determine what materials your cabinet carcasses will be made out of. There is often two schedules set up for each type of coloured material you intend on using in order to make it easy when you are in a job to change a cabinet carcass from white into colour. Below, this name indicates that the schedule should be used as the standard material schedule for your cabinets. It has been abbreviated to have the letters INT at the beginning as this defines that most carcass or interior parts are white melamine with the CP1 defining that any seen or exposed parts will be made from colour 1 material. Next, this name indicates that the schedule should be used as the exposed interior material schedule for your cabinets, as the letters EXP are defining that all carcass parts will be CP1, which is the colour 1 material. Typically, all cabinets will default to read to the standard material schedule. They will only read to the exposed interior schedule if you select this option in the assembly properties of a cabinet when you are in a job. Open shelves in your catalogue may have already been saved with this option selected. When you have the door schedules option selected, the sidebar will give you more options to consider when setting up this type of schedule. A lot are relevant to costing and some manufacturing, the most important one being the banding option if you want your reports to apply the banding material you have selected in the schedule. You must remember that even though you create a door schedule here, it will not be available to select in a job until you have turned it on in the material area of the applicable door style or door styles within the door catalogue. When setting up schedules for draw guides, you must consider the vast combination of draw runner sizes available for the varying heights and depths. See the draw guides recorded tutorial on our website for more information about draw guides and schedules. You may even notice there is a room schedule option in the list. 
This is a generic schedule that has been preset for you and it is required for Cabnavision to know what to build your floor, walls and other system parts out of to make up your room. It is important to remember that ultimately every object, item or surface in a job needs to be built out of a material and therefore will likely require a schedule. A lot of these have just been preset for you so you may never think to go and change them. That concludes our tutorial on material schedules. I hope you have found it helpful. Thank you for watching.